Although Chessbase 11 is primarily a database management program, one of the great things about it is the ability to use chess engines. Now I often get asked how to set the default chess engine to be used in Chessbase 11. Well, it's pretty straightforward, but to do so you need to go to the Options, which is accessed via the Application menu here at the top left. Down at the bottom you'll see some buttons. We want the Options button. This brings up the Options window. You can see there's a whole host of tabs with different settings to alter your Chessbase experience. Not surprisingly, the one we're interested in is the Engines tab. Here's where you get to choose the default engine for Chessbase 11. At the moment you can see that I've got Deep Ribka 4 loaded. If you click Browse, it will open a Load Engine window. On the left here, you'll see a list of all the engines that are currently on your computer. You can select any one of these engines. So let's say we want to use DeepFritz 12 as our de default engine. Select the engine here, which you can see I've just done, and then put a tick in the box next to Default Engine. Then simply click OK. But while we're here, let's have a look at some of the other options in the Load Engine window. If you have any computer chess end game table bases on your computer, you can tell the engines to use them by putting a tick in this box here. You'll also need to tell your program where the table bases are physically located on your computer, which you can do via the options window we looked at just a few moments earlier. If you're moving on to a new game and you want to do some new analysis of something you haven't looked at before, it's a good idea to clear the hash table, which you can do simply by clicking this button. The parameters of the engine, or engine options, are accessed by clicking here. Most cases, you'll want to use the default settings provided by the engine programmer, because they've spent quite some time testing the engine and have set those default settings as the ones that they think are the best for their engine. Over here, we've got the option for hash table size. Now this has been an issue ever since hash tables were introduced into chess-based software. What size should you set your hash table to? Well, you can see that Chessbase here tells you the maximum you can set it to. And I would advise setting it to somewhere around a half or a quarter of your maximum available memory. One interesting tip is it's useful to do it in multiples of two. So say 64, 128, 256, 512 and so on. So for my purposes, I tend to use either 256 or 512. But the honest answer is, it will entirely depend on your computer system. If you set it too high, you'll notice that your computer hard drive may make sounds like a ratcheting sound. If that happens, then you want to set your hash table just that little bit lower. There is an element of trial and error, but there really isn't an absolute formula for the correct size of hash table. So anyway, going back to chess engines, to set the default engine to DeepFritz 12, we've selected DeepFritz 12, we've put a tick in the box next to default engine, and it's as simple as that. Simply click OK. Now you can see here that DeepFritz 12 is under the name of Default Engine. Click OK. And when you load a game, you can load that default engine by simply clicking on the button for Default Kibitzer, which is here. 
As soon as I click that, you can see that DeepFitz 12 is being loaded. You can click the buttons here to remove Kibitzer. Or you can simply click the X in the Kibitzer window. If you want to analyse with one of your other engines, but you don't particularly want it as one of your default engines, just go to Add Kibitzer here. This will bring up the load engine window that we looked at before, and you can select any one of your engines to kibitz with. If you don't put a tick in the box next to default engine, then your default kibitzer will remain the same. You might notice I use the terms kibitzer and engine. Well, in this context, they're pretty much interchangeable. You can add more than one kibitzer. As you can see here, now I've got Deep Fritz and Deep Ribka analysing at the same time. While that might be interesting in certain positions, generally speaking, to get the most out of your engines, you'll probably just want to stick to one kibitzer at a time. You can remove a single kibitzer by clicking here, or all the kibitzers by clicking there. So there you go, that's an introduction to the basics of using chess engines in Chessbase 11.